Did any of your subjects tell you that they become different people when they speak different languages? When oh, yeah. I speak French, I become so charming. There sure. should be, there should yeah. be laws against it. Yeah. When I speak Hebrew, I become a moralizer. Yeah. <laughs> Did you notice that in your research? Oh, I think it's a very known phenomenon. Becoming which a moralizer? In a way, I think, so this is where I think people who, who are promoting monolingualism, one language or so, have mm -hmm. problems with. I mean, they don't want you to be diverse. They don't want these multiple personalities. Mm -hmm. But for some people who are very much for domination and one culture, one language, one nation, this is a very threatening idea. But doesn't one language really assist in the project of forging a national identity? Which I don't think so. I mean, Israel is so split and divisive <laughs> in so many ways. There are so many other things that bring people together. And what is really together? How together do we need to be? Mm. I'm not the same as somebody, <laughs> even my, some of my colleagues who live somewhere else and are more orthodox. I'm secular, I'm Tel Aviv, they live somewhere else. So there are mm. all these other mm. divisive things and multiple identities. So the languages think, permit some distance between people that perhaps ought not be <laughs> so, <laughs> so close issue. to one another. <laughs> right. You use the, the term language victim. I'm starting to think my grandmother was a language victim. Tell us about a language victim living in Israel, be they an Arab Israeli citizen or a Jewish uh, I don't Israeli think she, your grandmother mm -hmm. was a victim because mm -hmm. as you said, she chose to use that, not to use Hebrew, but to use other languages. Mm -hmm. She was not a victim. The country, the nation, made her look like a victim mm. because the nation victimized her. And I have, sto I have stories, and I can tell you for many hours, about my father not being able to get job, a job because he didn't know Hebrew. Uh, lots of people whom we know who were totally marginalized by those who were dominating the scene then and even now for not knowing the power language. Professor Alana Shohami, thank you so much for this extremely original and actually quite fascinating discussion of the languages of Israel. We hope to have you again. Thank you very much. Thank you for being interested in language issues. That's always a compliment. Thank you.